We've been exploring Mars for decades now. The first craft to finally reach the Red Planet was the Mariner 4, which flew by Mars in 1965. Since then, we've uncovered some crazy things that you'll surely find interesting or even downright confusing. From volcanic super eruptions to a woman-shaped figure, here are 20 strangest things spotted on Mars. Number 20. Carbon-Rich Rocks NASA has been exploring the Red Planet for decades, and we're still learning new things all the time. For example, in 2022, they revealed that the Mars Curiosity rover found rock samples that were rich in a carbon type that, here on Earth, we associate with biological processes. According to Penn State scientist Christopher House, who studied the Curiosity rover's findings, the processes that would produce that carbon signal are biological, and we now have to determine if we can use that same explanation for Mars, or if there's another one. Dr. Root Sarek, an astronaut, biologist said the findings could be a significant breakthrough, but it's too soon to draw any conclusions with confidence. So where do we go from here? Well, most scientists agree that while this finding is incredible, we've got a long way to go. We likely need a more powerful spacecraft so that we can bring back rocks to Earth and learn if tiny organisms such as bacteria we find here on Earth were ever present on Mars. So far, while we've been looking for organic molecules, we've been drilling into organic rocks but not bringing anything too significant back. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. Rumor has it that something completely shocking was found on the Red Planet, and everything NASA has found on Mars so far simply pales in comparison. Allegedly, a NASA rover caught footage of a kind of primitive shelter etched into the rock. This image is a recreation of that shelter, but we've heard that NASA didn't want to release the actual imagery because it might reveal something they've been hiding. Do you think there are shelters on Mars? What do you think they could be for? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. A Rocky Doorway has a doorway been found on Mars? To many, pictures in the east cliffs of the Gale Crater look to feature a dog door or a type of rocky doorway, and NASA is inclined to agree. In fact, they even went so far as to say that it was a doorway into the ancient past. But they don't mean that literally, as in you're not gonna knock on it and be welcomed into an alien's home. It's simply a perfectly natural rock that happens to look like a door. The Curiosity rover found the door in May of 2022 while it was exploring the area around the Gale crater. It has been in this part of Mars since 2012 and uses a mast cam instrument to take pictures. It happened to capture one of the strange rock fissure, which was only 12 inches tall and 16 inches wide. Its door-like appearance, but small size, led NASA to say in a statement that humans would have difficulties entering the door in the cliff, which is why they called it a dog door. They also said in a statement that such open fractures are pretty common in bedrock on Mars, just as they are on Earth. So while it might look like the entrance into an alien's home, it's just a natural natural geologic feature made to look like a door due to the many linear fractures in the rock that just so happen to intersect at the right angles. Number 18. The Remains of an Ancient Structure NASA's Curiosity rover captures a lot of incredible photos, and conspiracy theorists like to pour over them in the hopes of finding an alien or at least proof that there has been life on Mars recently or in the past. One image posted by an unmanned rover's Mars Sol 929 caught the eye of ETDatabase.com blog owner Scott Waring, who claimed some rocks on Mars were 100% proof of alien life on Mars. He said he was looking over some of the photos captured by the rover and found one that had walls of a perfectly even thickness. Scott said the walls were connected and each made its own room. They looked like they were the ruins of an intelligent species that might have lived within them. He also said that he had seen a woman figure on Mars standing about six inches tall about a decade prior to this discovery. He believes the same tiny species might have lived within those walls and believes the evenness of the walls made it impossible for it to be a natural formation. Scott was so confident 
confident in his find that he stated it was 100% proof that an intelligent species once lived and thrived on Mars. But let's hear what NASA has to say. As they've said about most other rock finds, it's likely the effects of pareidolia. Pareidolia is a psychological phenomenon involving the brain tricking the eyes into seeing familiar shapes on a surface like a rock or even in the clouds. Number 17. Flowing Water NASA has always been searching for life in the universe, and their quest has always been to follow the water. So that's what they're doing. In 2015, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter found the strongest evidence to suggest that liquid water flows on Mars, which is crazy when you think how dry, dusty, and inhospitable the red planet looks. NASA used an imaging spectrometer on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to detect hydrated minerals on slopes where NASA had seen mysterious streaks. The dark streaks appear to change over time. almost as if they were ebbing and flowing. The streaks become darker during the warm seasons and appear to flow down steep slopes, but they would fade during the colder seasons. In a statement by NASA, these streaks can be found in several places on Mars when temperatures are above negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The downhill flows have been described as potentially related to liquid water, and now that they've identified hydrated salts, they're learning about their relationship with the dark features. NASA said that the salts would lower the freezing point of a liquid brine, which is what happens on Earth when salt causes ice and snow to meld quicker. Scientists think it's probably just a shallow flow with enough water coming to the surface to create the darkening effect. Number 16. Mars Quakes When the Earth shakes, we call it an earthquake. But what do you think it's called when Mars shakes? Well, a Mars quake, of course. Mars quakes aren't all that different from earthquakes. They occur when a sudden release of energy from the planet's interior causes a shaking on the surface or inside. By detecting and analyzing these quakes, we might learn more about whether any of the many volcanoes on the red planet are active. We've already observed and documented many quakes on the moon, and there's also evidence of quakes on Venus in the past, but we didn't know anything about Mars quakes until at least 2018 or 2019. In 2018, NASA's inside Site lander touched down on Mars carrying a super sensitive seismometer, and ever since then, we've been able to detect many Mars quakes. Two of the most powerful ones were recorded as recently as 2021. University of Bristol seismologist Anna Horliston said that they were the largest and most distant events by a considerable margin, with a spectrum and duration unlike anything they had observed before. The first was a magnitude 4.2, which occurred in late August 2021 in the Vias Marineris. There was already evidence in this valley of seismic activity having occurred with faults and landslides, but this was the first time we've detected one here. The second was 24 days later, measuring 4.1 on the far side of Mars. It lasted for around 94 minutes and was the longest quake they had ever recorded. Number 15. Volcanic Super Eruptions if you're about done with Earth and want to move to Mars, you might be reconsidering your big move when you realize that there have been several thousand super eruptions on the Red Planet. You'd just be leaving one dumpster fire for another. In 2021, scientists found evidence to suggest that a part of northern Mars known as Arabia Terra experienced super eruptions over a 500 million year period, which are the largest volcanic eruptions ever known. Some of the eruptions were so powerful that they released huge amounts of toxic gas and dust into the air changing the planet's climate for decades and even blocking out the sun. According to a paper in the Geophysical Research Letters Journal, the latest super eruptions caused water vapor, sulfur dioxide, and carbon dioxide to be released into the air about 4 billion years ago for a period of half a billion years. The scientists think that each of the eruptions would have had an enormous climate impact, to the point where it made the atmosphere colder, thicker, and blocked the sun. When the eruptions happened, they blasted molten rock and gas to the volume of about 400 million million Olympic-sized swimming pools through the surface. Afterward, the volcano collapsed into a caldera, which is a giant hole. Number 14. Regional Dust Dries Out Mars we know that liquid water can and has flowed on Mars and that it was once warm and wet like Earth, but what tends to confuse us is where the water went and why even just looking at the dry, dusty planet makes you want to reach for a glass of water. Scientists think the planet has lost most of its water to outer space, and the dust storms have played a part in drying it out. They long suspected that dust storms that strike every few years and the hot summer months can dry out the planet, but they didn't really have the measurements to confirm their theories. In 2019, researchers were 
were able to collect data during a regional dust storm that indicated the red planet loses double the amount of water during a dust storm than it does during calmer periods. Up until then, we didn't know how impactful those dust storms really were. As it turns out, the dust storms heat up the atmosphere, and when winds are generated, water vapor is catapulted at higher than usual altitudes. At an increased height, the water molecules are more vulnerable to ultraviolet radiation, which turns them into hydrogen and oxygen. As these are lighter elements, they can be lost to space. Number 13. Flower Formation Have you ever seen a photo of a flower on Mars? Well, probably not, because not even weeds that seem to grow anywhere and everywhere can survive on this barren planet. But we found something that looks pretty close, and it's a small rock that looks like a flower or a piece of coral. The Curiosity rover was rovering about in the Gale Crater investigating Martian rocks when it took photos of a rock artifact with the Mars Hand Lens Imager on the end of its robotic arm. The picture of the artifact definitely looked unusual when comparing it to all the other stones it's taken pictures of. It was smaller than a penny and almost didn't even look like a rock. It was truly that unusual. According to NASA, the flower rock and the many spherical pieces next to it were most likely made in the ancient past when minerals carried by water cemented the rock. The discovery was similar to the small round rocks named Martian blueberries, which indicated that there was once watery soil on Mars. It might seem like an insignificant find, but each photo the rover collects helps scientists learn about the presence of water in the crater. Number 12. A Mouse Mice are everywhere. They get into our homes and cause chaos, and we just never seem to see the end of them. So is it really out of the question for them to be on Mars? I mean, there's almost nowhere you won't find them, so I honestly would not be surprised if they made their way to the Red Planet somehow. Art Alien TV owner Joe White, an amateur astronomer, says he believes he saw evidence of a real-life rodent on Mars while looking through photos taken by the Curiosity rover. In a video he uploaded to his YouTube channel, you can see what appears to be a mouse on the right hand mast cam of the rover close to the ridge of the 96-mile-wide Gale Crater. NASA didn't make an official statement about alien mice, but Joe said he could see the mouse plain as day and that it looked like it could be two or three feet long. When the Daily Mail spoke to Joe, he admitted that he supposed it could be an optical illusion but was adamant that its large ears, nose, and eyes were visible. Number 11. An Alien Tomb Scott Waring from ET Database, who's often described as a UFO expert, has made a few bold claims over the years. But to suggest that he's found an alien tomb on Mars? Well, that's a new one. Scott said that he was looking through raw photos taken by the Curiosity rover when he spotted what looked like a tomb in a photograph dating back to March 9th, 2016. According to Scott, he spotted the alleged tomb when he was trying to find another strange object that he had spotted, which was something that looked like a tiny skull. He said that he had never seen the tomb in the same photo back then, but it was right in the center of the image. Scott said the tomb appeared to be a little over 2 meters or 6.56 feet, which is about the same size as coffins used here on Earth. He believed he could also identify other features in the tomb, like carvings on the side and a lid. With his alleged evidence, he thinks that the tomb is an ancient relic from an early civilization that once thrived on Mars. Scott stated that the tomb's top appears to be slightly raised in one corner, making him believe it's hollow with a lid. He says the sides also appear to have sculptures, but the photo details are too poor to make out what the carvings are. But he does believe it's 100% proof of intelligent aliens once living on the Red Planet. Number 10. A Woman-Shaped Figure Some people believe in life on Mars, while others think there once was life on Mars. Then there are those who think it's a dry-as-a-bone planet that can't sustain microbes, let alone humans. So you're either going to think this photo of a supposed woman on Mars is real, or you're not. I'm on team not. In 2015, news broke of a photo taken by the Curiosity rover that showed what looked like a mysterious ghost lady casually standing on a rock or walking on it. UFO Sightings Daily brought the photo to most people's attention, stating that the shape looked like a partly cloaked woman, or perhaps a ghost Martian woman or statue left over from an ancient society. Or, you know, it could be a rock or some dirt. But when you look at the photo, it's not hard to see why the believers think it really is a woman. When you zoom in, you can see what looks like a woman with long hair, a slim frame, a dark colored dress, and one arm slightly out from her body, almost like she's gaining her balance on the rock. But it's definitely a rock. Number 9. Ghost Dunes you generally associate sand dunes with beaches, but we're about to switch that association to Mars. 
Now, every time you think of sand dunes, you'll picture the red planet and how much cooler it used to be until it became all dry and dusty. A recent study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research drew attention to the discovery of approximately 800 ghost dunes. Ghost dunes is the name given to imprints of ancient sand piles, and they were found in two different areas on Mars. According to ecologist Liza Lester, the dunes would have formed when Mars had flowing water and active volcanoes. Then, about two billion years ago, the dunes were covered with streams or lava flows which covered the dunes with sediment. This sediment hardened around the dunes like a mold, and the wind blew all the sand away. What was left was essentially an empty shell. Similar ghost dunes can actually be found here on Earth in Idaho's Snake River Plain, and there are plenty on Mars near the Medusa Fossae formation. By researching the dunes, scientists were able to determine which way the wind was blowing. They discovered that the dunes were being pushed south, which means the wind was coming from the north. These days, it's the opposite, which indicates that Mars's environmental conditions have changed since then. Number 8. Ice Cliffs United States Geological Survey geologist Colin Dundas from Flagstaff, Arizona has had the same daily routine for over a decade. Each day, he'll check out around 12 high-resolution images beamed back from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to see if he can spot anything different or unusual. On one particular day, he did. Standing out from all the rust coloring was a sliver of blue. What on earth is that, he probably wondered. What Colin was looking at were steep cliffs up to 328 feet tall, exposed with what appeared to be almost pure ice. This discovery meant that vast stores of underground ice were likely buried just below the surface at incredibly low Martian latitudes. Collins said this kind of ice is now more prevalent than they previously thought, and that each of the cliffs now appears to be naked faces of glaciers. This is more important than you might think, because it means that we might be able to learn more about past Martian climates and might even have a potential resource for human bases in the future. Water is a necessary resource for astronauts because they can combine it with carbon dioxide to make methane to propel their rockets and oxygen to breathe. It wouldn't be hard to access the ice for their needs if it's just a few feet below the surface. Number 7. Alien Limbs I don't know about you, but this is just getting a little bit far-fetched. We all know that rocks can look like different things, even when they're just rocks, which is sometimes why, when you take your kids to the beach, they come home with pockets full of stones. Our imaginations are beautiful things. So when you see rocks on Mars, it's only natural for our brains to try to associate their shapes with something else. In this case, prominent conspiracy theorist Scott Waring is claiming that images from NASA show pictures of alien limbs. Scott said that the image has evidence of a Martian defeated in battle, with several limbs scattered around the surface of the red planet. He said the supposed limbs point to there being a giant alien which was defeated in battle and quartered to warm off its enemies. Scott wrote on his blog that the reality is right in front of us. Allegedly, he said the legs, arms, hand, foot, and head with crown of an alien species. The body is not naked, but still wearing the armor it was fighting in. They all lay next to one another. Okay, then, moving along. Number 6. Alien Wreckage What NASA captured footage of on Mars is as close to spotting a UFO on the red planet as we'll likely get, and it's actually from Earth. The Ingenuity Mars helicopter took photos on Mars of what looked like a flying saucer, and the world went absolutely crazy for it but it wasn't a flying saucer at all. It was a landing gear left behind after the previous year's Mars mission. NASA had dispatched the helicopter to survey debris from the 2021 Preservation Rover's historic landing. Over the course of 10 pictures, you can see a UFO-like back shell which protected the rover as it made its way to the surface of Mars. The photos also show a debris field and a 70.5-foot wide parachute, which is the largest ever deployed on Mars. While everyone was shocked at the photos themselves, NASA was more surprised by how intact the equipment was. They said entry, descent, and landing on Mars is fast-paced and stressful with incredible gravitational forces, high temperatures, and other extremes. The equipment they develop has to endure a lot, and it's held up surprisingly well. Number 5. A Shiny Object 
Mars is dusty and red, so a lot of what you see on the red planet is also dusty and red. So anything that's not dusty and red certainly stands out, such as the shiny object that the Curiosity rover took pictures of. The chem cam on the rover took a photo of a small, shiny nugget, which NASA nicknamed Little Collinsay. The camera managed to capture a close-up picture of it, leading the planning team to think it was most likely a meteorite since it's so shiny although they didn't rule out anything else. Curiosity team member Suzanne Schwesner said looks could be deceiving and proof would only come from its chemistry. It's likely that it is a meteorite, though, and it wouldn't be the last. The Opportunity rover found an iron meteorite on Mars in 2008, and a jumbo specimen was discovered in 2014. Number 4. A Smooth Rock Formation in early 2022, the Curiosity rover used its mast camera to take photos of a very cool rock. It was unlike most other rocks on Mars because it was incredibly smooth and curvy. The photo was taken just before the Curiosity rover started drilling over 20 holes into the rocks to find carbon, which would indicate signs of organic life on ancient Mars. Whenever photos of rocks are taken on Mars, people try to compare them to similar shaped items here on Earth. For example, a doorway-shaped rock made people think there was a little hut on Mars. But what do you think this rock looks like? I'll leave you to speculate on that, or maybe read a few news articles. The strange-shaped rock got people curious about how it ended up so smooth and curvy when most other rocks look sharp and jagged. It's believed that liquid might have shaped this particular rock billions of years ago. Hilariously, when freelance space writer and blogger Paul Scott Anderson published NASA's photos of the rock on his Twitter feed, he received a cease and desist letter from Neo NFT. The letter stated that the picture was a copyright infringement of Neo NFT because the rock's shape, size, and color were similar to their property, or something like that. You can't copyright a planet's rock. Number 3. A Monolith the monolith discovered on Mars has become so famous that it has its own Wikipedia page. It also features in the science fiction novel called Blue Remembered Earth. The monolith is known as the Phobos monolith, and it's a large rock on Phobos, which is Mars's moon located near Stickney Crater. It's about 300 feet tall, 279 feet wide, and consists of one large rock piece. Monoliths such as the Phobos monolith do occur here on Earth, but some people have theorized that the one on Mars might be a piece of impact ejecta. The monolith was discovered by Efrain Palermo, who was tasked with the job of surveying Martian probe imagery. Later, Lan Fleming, who worked as a NASA Johnson Space Center imaging subcontractor, confirmed the discovery. The area around the Phobos monolith is a proposed landing site for a robotic mission known as PRIME, organized by Optech and the Mars Institute. PRIME, which stands for Phobos Reconnaissance and international Mars exploration doesn't currently have funding or a projected launch date, although if it were to happen, four instruments would be sent to Mars's moon to study geology. Number 2. A Skull NASA's rovers send photos back to Earth on a regular basis, and most of them show fairly standard stuff like dust, rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Every now and again, though, people spot some funny shapes and all of a sudden they start thinking aliens live there. So you can imagine just how many people lost their minds when one of the rovers sent back photos showing a rock that looked like some kind of alien skull. It was spotted by YouTube user Paranormal Crucible, who created a video about it stating that it looked like it had eyes, a nose, upper jaw, and cranium. The YouTube user could have just showed photos and let people form their own opinions, but they took it one step further. It appears as though the photo has some shadow enhancements to make the two eye socket-like shapes appear more prominent. The dramatic soundtrack in the background also adds to the excitement. As you likely already know, it's a rock, not a skull, but Paranormal Crucible clearly didn't think so. They said it was obviously alien in nature and queried whether it was a bizarre Martian creature or even Sasquatch remains. Number 1. A Mysterious Ball Supposed UFO expert Scott Waring is at it again. When he spotted what looked like a perfect sphere in photos taken on the surface of Mars, he couldn't just see it for what it was, a rock. Instead, he stated that it was definitive proof of a war on Mars. Scott thinks that it's a projectile, a cannonball, and the fragments around it are proof that it came out of something and wrecked the surrounding stone structures. But I probably don't need to tell you with almost certainty that it's just a rock. 
While cannonball in shape, I guess, NASA has already said that there are sedimentary rocks which have become rounded in a concretion process. Concretion happens when minerals create little bubbles inside rocks that were underwater back when Mars had a lot of liquid water. Because the sediment is soft, the rock ends up in the shape of a perfect sphere when the water dries. Mars is one of those intriguing planets that almost seems within our reach to be able to colonize, but yet is still so far away. Based on what you've just learned, would you move to Mars if given the opportunity? <laughs> Rover puns. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!